Hello Flostu, my name is Tamara and in today video, today's video I wanted to show you some uh, um, charts which I bought um, and uh, I wanted to sh show you <laughs> which of them I wanted to start. So usually I am organizing my, myself to present my cross stitch shopping of like charts, uh, kits, accessories uh, like in the first uh, part of every month. But uh, this month, uh, like March, I don't know why, but I, I had a uh, how to say an attack of sh shop uh, shopagalism <laughs> because I, I I have been buying quite a lot of things. I wouldn't say that I have bought enormously and many many things, but still, I bought more things than I am buying usually during one month. I don't know what happened, but I did it again, and that's why in today's video I wanted to show you. Um, topic uh, which uh, how they say I, I started uh, hunting me <laughs> so um, this is about uh, B and I called the video B mania because um, I don't know why I started being interested in uh, uh, charts and in uh, uh, topics with bees in cross teaching Okay, I know why, because even in January, since January, I saw in um, in a video of a Russian blogger, uh, so she had a design by Jeanette Douglas, uh, also with B, and this topic already started, in, in, like, started being interesting to me. I started looking for uh, charts, like browsing them, not buying them, and uh, I was like, you know, like browsing, browsing, thinking, looking, and in March I just, it was an outburst and I made some, some shopping because it was like for two or three weeks I was making like shopping, shopping, shopping. And the packets started coming, like the parcels, and I already thought that, okay, it's time to stop. <laughs> That's why I wanted to show you um, uh, what I bought uh, on this uh, topic, like about bees. I have uh, so far just three charts, thanks God, because I wanted to buy many more, but I, I stopped and I said that if I'm going to stitch at least two of these charts, it's going to be very well and I'm going to buy more. So actually I bought uh, such a sampler, B sampler by Lila Studio. So this is the B sampler. And if you see, if you look at these scissors and the scissor form, and I will tell you honestly that this was the thing which inspired me mostly <laughs> because because not accidentally i actually have this kind of scissor this model of scissors this is um cathedral scissors from kelmsco designs and honestly knowing that i have this uh, model of scissors and seeing this um this sampler i bought it uh, like first of all to make myself a scissor fob and a pink cushion because of pink cushion I thought about like choosing from this like, parts of design and stitching myself a pink cushion as well. So what I know so far for sure <laughs> that I'll start with small things and then I'll stitch the sampler itself. And also for this chart I, I already bought the threads so um, it requires hand paint, hand dyed threads. Two of them are by Gentle Art and one by Wix Dye Works. So by Gentle Art, you'll need like mustard seed and sunflower, very nice colors. And by Wix Dye Works, cool. kind of black, but it's not black. So these are the threads. Originally, they recommend to stitch it like on the 14th count. Uh, of linen, but I'm not sure that I'm going to stitch on such a small count for me. I don't know why for me it's it's difficult and I don't like stitching on such small count. So for the pin cushion and the scissor fold, by I'll look in my um, stash with a brick to look for for leftovers for a smaller print. So this ones I'm going to stitch on a smaller print because I don't want them huge, you know. But for the sampler, I will probably choose a bigger count like 36 32nd maybe i'll see when the time comes so because first of all i i, I already said that i'm i'm interested to, sti to stitch and to make a um, scissor fob and um, a pink cushion uh, the second design i have here is a design by the blue flower it's called sleeping bee and the uh, designer 
uh, is uh, Janine McGowan. Mm, this design is quite new. It appeared on uh, in 2019 in uh, autumn, if I'm not wrong. Uh, Janine McGowan uh, and the brand, the Blue Flower, is uh, um, a quite a, a new brand on the cross stitch market, as far as I understood. So she doesn't have a lot of uh, uh, charts, but beside this chart, uh, she has charts with uh, squirrels. Uh, seasonal squirrels like autumn, winter, spring, uh, even Halloween. Um, I am interested in those uh, charts as well, but I thought about like um, buying at least one from this designer, stitch it and then like think about the others. Because I'm crazy about, about buying seasonal designs. Uh, this design uh, was caught me <laughs> from the moment I saw it on the one to three stitch, like being uh, not advertised, but you know, when you open the home page, the newly added designs usually like appear there. I remember that I saw it, I liked it, but I said, no, 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 not yet. And when already this spring I was looking for B um, charts, I, I already was sure that I want to buy it. And um, mm, this is a winter bee, by the way. You see, like the snowflakes and but i i like it i don't know why but it, i like it a lot and for this design according to the to the chart uh, they um, recommend lakeside linens the 40th count the color is fawn um, 40th count for me i already said it's too small that's why i thought about like a larger count and then i remembered that i already had in my stash um a piece of fabric also from lakeside linens but uh, the color is maritime white so this is a kind of ecru color and the count is 36 and i thought this would be perfect because this piece of fabric was bought like time ago a lot of time ago <laughs> for my uh, half dolls so it was meant to be the skirts of uh, two dolls meanwhile i um I don't want to make it for two dolls, just for one, because for other doll I have another plans. And uh, the piece I have here, it will, it will be more than enough for this design and for the doll's skirt. So I thought, why like spending again money and uh, like buying a new piece of uh, fabric? Because looking here and the color of the um, picture is very good, I thought that more or less it looks the same, more or less. At least I am satisfied by this color. And I already bought the um, threads for this design. And the threads look perfect. So they would look perfect on this design. Here it's required three brands of threads. So it's Wix Dye Works, it's uh, Gentle Art, hand dyed threads and it's a classic color works. So I have here everything except one thread from classic color works, which the shop I bought it from, like missed this, uh, this thread from my uh, order. I wrote them an email and they said that they are going to send it to me ASAP. I hope it's going to be soon. And um, so from Wix that works, there is Juniper, there is whitewash, there is onyx, and there is blackboard. And I wanted to pay your attention to this whitewash. And I'll show you as an example, uh, color white blank from DMC. They look pretty much the same, pretty much. So if you don't want to spend my money on this uh, white whitewash from Wix that works, you can use uh, uh, color white from DMC. Uh, what else? From Classic Color Works, I said that Lunar Eclipse it's missing, and I have Weeping Willow. And from Gentle Art, there are like Crystal Lake, this one. There is um, there is Heirloom Gold, and there is Chamomile. So, I pretty much have everything for this design. And I also like very much how uh, yeah, it's presented here. It was made like in the cover of a box. Very nice. I'll see what I'll do about this. 
and uh, yes by the way i showed you the the uh, scissors but i didn't show you that i bought such a thing so it's a stand for the scissors also it's wooden and also it's connected to the bee it's a beehive so it's imitation of a beehive and i also considered that it would be like very very nice you know i already need a scissor for but it's going to be great and the third um, chart i have so it's such a chart from uh, bee cottage uh, the bee cottage um, i don't know i liked it i just liked it a lot be happy it's so, such a positive one so it's the chart um it has to be stitched everything in dmc just a second let me show you something and uh, you notice there are such button flowers they were with the chart so they were sold together um here i they recommend to be to stitch this design on uh, 28 count cashel uh, cream if i'm not long or wrong at least i know for sure that i have this color of uh, linen in my stash and uh, so i already said it's dmc and i have uh, all the dmc threads uh, in my stash mm, and it requires two colors of uh, beads so it's petite and it's um, like some number 11 beads and i don't have these ones even as leftovers from my uh, um, mill hill uh, designs so when time comes i'll have to, to buy these two colors of uh, beads for this design i also ordered two charms like this uh, honestly i didn't look at the um, size and i thought that they are going to be small but when they came i realized that they are very big that's why i think i'm going to use them as uh, um, I, either as scissor forbs or as needle minders i'll make needle minders from them I mean like also on B B mania um, because like um, putting them on like cross stitch they are too big they are going to be too big evidently I will all also ordered more charms like this but I'm not sure when they are going to come because I don't think they are going to come soon and finally which design I am going to stitch from these three because I am dying to stitch one of these designs and yes it's going to be this so the blue flower because it was like it caught my attention since last autumn because I already bought all the materials because you, you notice that for this one this is the only one where I have everything I have like the fabric and I have the uh, threads as well and this is going to be the first uh, project from this Bimania, which is overwhelming me now. So, in my next videos, I'll probably show you how this project goes on and how it looks like. Wish me luck! This is everything I wanted to show you in this video. I hope you liked the video, I hope you liked my new charts, and you also got sub spring inspiration. Thank you for watching it and see you in my next videos. Until then, bye bye!